Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got another exciting battery test, teardown, and review for you today. This time from Red Dodeo. I'm always excited about my battery test, but this one is a little extra special. This one hits close to home. Of all the battery brands out there, I own the most of this one. So this one ought to be real exciting. If you want to see what keeps my lights on at night, we'll stick around. We'll go look in this one and find out. And this is Rododio's standard 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. It is a group 31 size format, just a standard energy storage battery. And what do you get when you purchase this unit? Well, of course you get the battery itself and then you get a user packet. So you got a nice envelope to keep everything in, to keep everything organized with your battery, to hold on to your manuals. You get terminal bolts and caps, protective caps. You get a quick start guide that shows you how to get started using your battery quickly. And then also you have your detailed product manual that shows you all the specifications and information that the battery is capable of doing and its parameters. And here are the specifications for the Group 31 size format Rododio. I'll pause the screen, read it if you want. If not, we'll continue on. And this is a newer addition to their batteries. They're offering a sticker packet now so you can show your brand loyalty. And so they're including stickers now as well. Time for the capacity test on the Rododio 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. As you can see, the battery is fully topped off. That minuscule draw is just coming from the energy meter. I will disconnect the breaker and show you that the draw goes away so the battery is fully topped off. I'll go ahead and disconnect charging means now. Energize the breaker again. Same capacity test as usual, same testing setup. Uh, the little alpha inverter, the energy meter, no hidden wires or anything like that. Sampling shunt breaker. So time to turn the inverter on. I've already got the energy meter cleared out and zeroed. So I'll turn that on and then I'll start the load. And the load is coming up now. Same load as usual. I'm charging a portable power station. It'll have this nice consistent load throughout the test. So settling in around 300 and 45 to 350 watts around 25 26 amps through the test so i will let it run and give you an update as it goes 12.95 volts under load so right at the halfway mark there we went coming up on the 100 amp hour mark with the Rododio battery right there should be rolling over right there rolled over 1280 so there's our 100 amp hours and keep pulling, see how much more it's got left in it. Still at 12.30 volts under load. Alrighty, the inverter just shut down on low voltage using their Rododio battery. 1,339 watt hours out of the Rododio. That is almost 105 amp hours out of an inverter test. Real life capacity, really nice. Very impressive capacity out of this Rododio battery. Uh, one of the reasons I bought so many of them, they are just a good value battery with large capacity. Time for the teardown on the Rododio lithium iron phosphate battery, the Group 31. So uh, not claiming low temp or anything like that. I just want to see what BMS is in this recent model here and uh, check everything out. Make sure we still got a quality build. So I'll crack it open and we'll look at it. I know normally I wait to crack, finish cracking the lids we look at together, but this one was held together with some kind of... Uh, space age adhesive that holds the universe together or something uh yeah so that one was one of the if not the most difficult batteries i've ever tried to get into which you know that's a good thing that means the seal's good on it and uh, the top is nice and strong but anyhow i got it where we can look at it now and it's got a u-shaped channel in the lid you see that right there said so just one one layer like some of the lower end batteries this one's got two got a layer of adhesive down the center and it squishes and grabs on both sides so a complete absolute um super strong seal on it but anyhow here's the the battery right here looks like a Sihang bms uh, i'm gonna take the cover off or the lid off and we're gonna look at all these wires and everything in more detail Play this on the lid too before i sit off to the side this is something i've not seen on any battery yet it's the first time I'm seeing this. Some kind of filter media right there on the top cover. And if you look on the side right here, there's a tiny little weep hole right there. So I don't know if that's to let condensation escape or let the pressure equalize inside the case for you know altitudes or things like that. But 
That's a unique feature I've not seen before. All right, let's take a closer look at this. This is a Cyhang Technology BMS. I've seen this before. I'll try to get this little cover off right here so we can look at the, the data tag a little closer. There's a little model number on the side, but I want to see what this tag is showing right here, if we can see it. What? A Power Queen BMS. I had my suspicions, but, uh, well, I guess uh, Redodio and Power Queen are one and the same. Well, I guess since that's out, I'll go ahead and make another observation that this BMS and this cell pack looks exactly like a Lee time I did a few months ago. And here's the next tag up. That was an original tag, and then we have a Redodio tag on top of that. Um, I always had my suspicions that the three brand, brands were the same, and uh, this just proves it. Kind of surprising, so I don't know how to react to this. But anyhow, that's, that was a surprising turn of events. Uh, anyhow, three number 10, 200 degree silicone jacketed wires. Uh, same thing on this side, the battery side of the BMS. Uh, three number 10s, good solder joints right there, nice and thick, nice aluminum heat sink. Like I said, this is like deja vu from that uh, lead time I did a while back. And then our positive lead feels like maybe a six underneath this sheath. So they got a nice fiber sheath on top of the wire. So let me strip this back and see if I can get you a wire gauge. And also hydraulically crimp connections. Uh, you yeah, know, very high quality build. There's your positive lead right there. Six gauge, 200 degree jacketed silicone. So, you know, very good. Very adequate for 100 amp BMS in this unit. Here's the cell pack out of its case. You can see the high density foam all around it to protect the cells. Let me scoot that over. And right here in the bottom, we had double-sided adhesive holding the pack down to the bottom. But, you know, we got the foam on the top. So the way the top was put on, smashing onto this foam, you know, the cell pack is insulated from any vibration, shock, or impact. There's a nice layer all the way around, a minimum of, you know, close to half an inch from the size if you count the terminal, but the actual cells are at least an inch away from the edge of the casing whichever way you go. And the dirt and stuff you see on here, that is not from Rododio. That is for me when I was trying to get in the lid, just for reference. And for safeties, temperature safeties, we have a high temp thermal switch right there. No NTC sensors, no low temp, which the manufacturer does not claim any low temp protections or anything like that. And like I said, this Cyhang board is, is a pretty good board. So no worries about BMS quality there. And you can see how large it is. It is one of the largest ones for 100 amp as far as size. It is just robust and it's got a nice heat sink on it. You know, some of them, the JBD 100 amp ones are just about this big. So this is big for 100 amp BMS. So we got high temp thermal switch right here. And then also down on the BMS on the board right in the center down there, there's two wires that also go to a bimetallic thermal switch. So there's high temp protection if we ever hit the BMS or the cell. So we're thermally protected on the high end. And then back over here on the other side of the pack, back to the bus bars and everything over here, we got nice wire management on the balance leads, nice thick cell connectors right there with expansion joints in them. Everything looks to be built pretty good. Nothing loose at all in this unit. Everything is the tightest uh, I've seen as far as mechanical fasteners. Everything is extremely snug. And then balance leads are machine screw connections everywhere. The laser welds are pristine on this unit. You know, wouldn't expect any less. Uh, we got tie band compression all the way around the pack right there. We got the corner guard brackets to help hold it in compression. Extra thick fiberboard cell separator between each cell to keep any rubbing down. And like I said, I've already spoke about the foam. So very well protected, well built battery. And then the foam is on, on top of the vents. It has, you know, holes. So in case one of the vents ever relieves on one of the cells, you know, it's got a way to exit. So, you know, just making notes of everything I'm observing. Now I'm gonna check the operation of the high temp thermal switch. It's by metallic 75 degrees C rating. So I got a battery charging right now. Going to apply heat. You should see the charger drop to zero. That took right at 40 seconds to make that trip. So I'll let it cool back down and we'll initiate charging as soon as this switch closes back. 
There we go, back to charging. So I'm gonna share my final thoughts on the Rododio Group 31 lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, good quality build, no complaints on this. It's built properly, it works properly, good capacity. Um, you know, made a little surprising discovery on the BMS, but that's why I tear them down. Well, I've never known that unless I inspected this battery. That's why I bring these teardowns to you so you can find out some information. I had my suspicions about the three brands and uh, once I tore this apart, I think I confirmed my suspicions, maybe. But if it quacks like a duck and looks like a duck, it's probably a duck. Good energy storage lithium iron phosphate battery. That's what this model is catered for. No low temp protection, not the battery for you if you need low temp protection. But if you need a good workhorse battery that's energy dense and affordable, you know, this might be the one for you. At time of filming, it's only $194 with a, an established brand with a known reputation to help you if you have any issues with it. They're not going anywhere. They've been here for years, and I'm sure Rododio is going to be here for years to come. So not a fly-by-night company, solid reputation, solid unit. I can highly recommend them. And if you're interested in this battery, I'll have a link in the description. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a nice day, and y'all be safe.